aboard! What's up guys? We are on our way to pick up our home, AKA the Cottawapple Caboose. And uh, we're en route to Bonner's RV and Sports. And it's raining, go figure. Um, it's been uh, quite an adventure. We did go to Scranton, that was pretty cool. But anywho, we are en route picking it up. It's going to be a pain in the butt trying to get this bad boy hitched up. But uh, there's a will, there's a way. We'll keep you posted. It's raining. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Oh yeah. You talking to me? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> no, I'm talking to the guy behind you. I don't know if you were on the front facing camera or not. Yeah, yeah, so this is uh this is this is fantastic that we have enough time to get pitched up before it starts to rain again. Yep, so we're going to uh, move it or lose it before it starts raining again. So we just picked our trailer up as you can see it's behind us. So we have our house back. It is raining now. We avoided the rain while we were hooking up. Thank goodness. Everything went smoothly. Everything looks great. Um, somehow our refrigerator got shut off, so they knocked 50 bucks off of the bill, which is fantastic because um, we lost about 50 bucks worth of food but um, everything that was in the freezer is fine all that stayed frozen and everything looks great I have my new fan it's called a fantastic fan um, we can leave it on in the rain now so when it rained before and we were dry camping or didn't have electric um, or be able to run the AC we could just open up one window in the entire trailer so now we can leave that fan on um, even when it's raining no matter what and it, it really it really sucks the air out so it comes you know in through the the windows that are open so that's really neat um, so other than that we uh, Scranton was about two hours away from Bonner's where we got the RV fix so we went and hung out in Scranton yesterday that was really cool had a lot of fun um, took a lot of pictures went to a lot of places that they um, referenced in the office so um, other than that, we are headed back to New York. Uh, we missed out on um, a few different places we had to cancel. We had to cancel Robert H. Treeman, um, the Letchworth State Park, and Darien Lake State Park in New York. So um, we're just bypassing those, going to Hamlin. Um, our reservation isn't for a couple days. So if we get there tonight or if we get there tomorrow, we'll just extend our stay there um, and then head over towards Niagara Falls after that. So maybe one of these days we'll get back over this area and go to the state parks that we missed. But really from now on, if anything, this has taught me to be flexible. So I think that um, we're probably not gonna do a whole lot of plans, a whole lot of reservations and um, planning every step of the way and just kind of go with the flow. And that's really more of in style anyway. Uh, we're very different, very opposite. So. Uh, I think that this was a really good lesson for us to slow down, enjoy it, for me to be more flexible and not really worry about where we're going next and, and just be thankful for the opportunity, enjoy the ride. So um, we are headed back to New York. We'll let you know how it goes. It's my 
my awesome wife Christina on top of the Cotty Wapple. She is in the process of splicing a couple of our wires from our solar panel well, that got damaged, uh, that was taken off recently. Um, the two wires that go inside of that um, need to be tied together and then capped off. The, uh, the gentleman at the repair shop, they just cut the wires and capped the two ends off, which is fine, but we couldn't figure out why we weren't pulling any power in. So our awesome uh, brother-in-law, Billy, explained to us what we needed to do. So Christina is up on the Cotty Wapple now and looks like she's uh, preparing to get that all squared away. So we'll keep you posted. Let you know how that goes. <laughs> all right, the so all I should need to do here is take off the caps uh, and the tape the from these wires, tie together, and splice them off. together, put this yeah, nut on it, gentlemen. and then our Here's solar off. should work. Tape and wire is off. I figured I better sit on my butt before I touch the, um, the actual wire to make sure that there's no power going to it, and there's not, so I didn't want to get knocked back. So I have to take the... Uh, I don't know how uh, what the proper term is, but I have to peel off some of this um, rubber around the wire so I can splice it together. And I, I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. But I'm going to give it a shot here. I'll check in with you guys later. Jesus and Billy, take the wheel. This is... Uh, what I got here, I just put both of the wires together. Not sure if it even needed electrical tape, but it was showing an awful lot of wire and I put the nut on there. So, been put the fuse back in, the the whatever it is. I, we don't know what anything's called, but he said it's working. And the nut's down here. And the what? And the nut, and the nut down here. Oh, yeah, so we're good to go. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus and Billy. <laughs> supposed to do this or not but it seemed to me like water could probably get up in that that nut that wire nut so I just uh, put some electrical tape over it and um, I don't think any water can really get into it now so I just kind of wrapped the, the cord around the antenna and around where it was already down and um, We'll know that this tape isn't going to stay for a while, but I figured if anything, it'll just kind of help hold it there, and we'll check on it every every stop we make, and just kind of make sure it's not flailing around the roof. So that's my mess. That's the stuff I took off, and the tools that I use. And I'm sure uh, Billy's going to get a really good kick out of that because you know Billy has like every tool known to man, and I'm very limited, but uh, it's working. So I got the job done. I didn't electrocute myself. And I'm going to go take a shower now. All showered. We're clean, right, babe? We are clean. Yeah. So uh, we're going to head over to a town called Charlotte. It's um, near Rochester or in Rochester. Anyways, it's supposed to have a nice pier, some nice restaurants and stuff. So yesterday when we went to go watch the sunset here at Hamlin Beach where we're at, the, um, the AC on the driver's side is blowing out cold. The passenger side started blowing out hot. So we have an appointment tomorrow at Pet Boys to take the truck to get the AC fixed. Some kind of actuator or something um, is um, kind of the consensus and it's supposed to cost uh, about $400. So um, I did get the solar fixed today, but it just kind of seems like, you know, one thing after the other after the other keeps happening. and. Um, so we are just going to go have fun for the rest of the day and forget about everything else that's going on. We can't really do anything about the the AC in the truck right now anyway. So we're just going to go have fun, right, dear? What she said. Yeah, so <laughs> as of right now, it's still blowing out cool, right? Right now. As of right now. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Not crossed. Yeah, so fingers crossed <laughs> <laughs> that we have a, um, a good rest of the day. So we are, you know, just kind of glad that we drove around today because um, when we left today, we knew that the AC wasn't working properly from the night before. The driver's side was um, was is blowing out cool, and the passenger side was blowing out hot. So 
we set it to bypass the passenger mode and um, it's working. It's it's the air is still coming out of the passenger side, but it's actually cold. Yeah, for the time being. Eventually, we will get it looked at. Right now, we're not going to touch anything. Uh, just got to keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope for the best and try to keep it moving. So. Yeah, so we're going to cancel our appointment for Pet Boys tomorrow. Um, and there's a there's a really cool farm that we seen a brochure for in the uh, park office. Um, so they serve lunch and stuff. We're also going to try to do one of the trails around here. There's um, a few different trails to choose from. So if weather permits, then, then we're going to walk a trail, you know. Yeah, the use. But Charlotte, it's a college town, you know. I wouldn't even say that. And we, we typically play college towns, you know, Gainesville and stuff like that and a couple other different places that we've been to. But this is, it was a hard pass for me. Two thumbs down. A thumb and a half. It wasn't a bad place. It just, it's not worth it. Anywho. Yeah. Stay at Hamlin Beach. The state park is beautiful. There's like five different areas. Um, the sunsets are beautiful. The beaches are beautiful. There's, there's plenty to do right here, so... You know, we just kind of wanted to get out, blow off some steam today since we've been having 15,000 things at a time go wrong. But 15,000 things. But we love it here. Yeah, yeah, so far so good. Yeah, we um, went and searched for some glass on the beach because we were walking the beach and we found, um, I guess they call it sea glass. Anyway, um, we'll show you a couple of pictures of that. But, um, you know, there's, there's a lot to do right around here. We're satisfied with this place. And the groundhog is your favorite. Yep, I give this place two thumbs up. Yeah, we think that if you're um, you're in this area. Oh, and they have a laundromat at a state park. How convenient is that? So we'll be doing laundry today or tomorrow. Get that out of the way. Other than that, we'll show you around the state park a little bit.